Hey guys, it's me Tara and I leave for a 8 day vacation in less than 24 hours and I'm not packed. I haven't returned some returns. I need to get my nails done. Literally not ready at all. I have so many errands to run and I was like in the middle of all of this, in the middle of me not f***ing being prepared for this vacation, I was like, well, I also have a video that I haven't filmed because I'm gonna be on vacation and I'm not gonna be able to film it and edit it in time by the Monday I get back. So I'm like, what the f do I do? And I'm like, oh my God, you know what? Maybe I'll take you guys with me while I stress prepare for this cruise that I'm going on out of Texas. So I have to get on a flight to Texas tomorrow to get on a cruise to go to like Jamaica. Sugar's not happy. Yeah. So I have a couple things to do. Like I said, I have to pack. I haven't even packed. I have to get my nails done and my toes done. I bought this like sundress at Urban Outfitters and it doesn't fit me, so I have to return it before it's too late. I have to clean my fucking room. My room, I'm not coming home to a dirty ass room. My room is, you guys wanna see my room right now? Jump scare, Tariyami's room. <gasps> and I have to do all this in less than 24 hours. <laughs> why do I leave everything last minute? Like why? Also, look at me, before I started filming, I started a load of laundry. Who am I? Who am I? Tariyami doing laundry? Tariyami doing manual labor? Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to Rite Aid because I need Dramamine. Because last time I went on a cruise, I got really bad vertigo to the point where like I felt like I was swaying and that like I was drunk, perma drunk, permanently drunk for like three days when I got back. It wasn't like on the cruise I got sick as much as I got sick when I got off the cruise. It was very weird and I do not want that to happen to me again. So I need to get non-drowsy Dramamine. Dramamine is like a pill you take so you don't get seasick. Now I don't get seasick, but I want to prevent it because when we were swaying, I got seasick. One of the days, it was really bad. Okay, this says less drowsy, not non-drowsy. It looks like they don't have any non-drowsy. So I'm gonna have to go to another Rite Aid. So the Rite Aid didn't have non-drowsy Dramamine and I need to make a return at Urban Outfitters because the sundress I bought for this cruise fits me very ill. It's very ill-fitting. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it fits me, but it just, it's not flattering at all. So I have to return it. Hopefully they get it back, they take it back. And while I'm at the mall, I'm gonna go to the Target in the mall and I'm gonna try and get the Dramamine, the non-drowsy one. I also need to get by like eyebrow gel. Bro, Target didn't have non-drowsy Dramamine either, which is like super. No way, you're lying. I'm getting bitten by so many mosquitoes. I have been getting eaten alive and it's actually so annoying and like, what is that? I know it's not a pimple because it's itchy. God, you're kidding me. Okay, first the oat milk. Now I can't find non-drowsy Dramamine anywhere. I'm gonna be spinning on this boat that I'm going on. Also, 1,000 degrees in Los Angeles right now. I feel like I don't have enough time in the day to do everything. I might have to get my nails done tomorrow before my flight, which is insane. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Also, I have zero self-control, you guys. There's a Sanrio at my mall, and I bought this, like, shut up. I bought this diary with a lock on it, because, like, are you kidding me? How cute. And then I bought these, like, eraser putties. I used to get these all the time when I was a little girl and just, like, smell them and, like, play with them. And I remember, like, putty got banned in my elementary, at my elementary school. And I have no self-control when it comes to Hello Kitty. Okay, one thing about me and traveling is I have the worst health anxiety. I don't know if this happened after COVID or developed as I, like, got into my early 20s and out of my teen years but I have the worst health anxiety, especially when I travel. My biggest fear is to like get sick out of country because me personally, when I get sick, I don't just get like, I don't just like catch a cold. I like get sick. And my biggest fear is I'm gonna get sick on this cruise. I know I'm gonna be like drowsy and nauseous. But that aside, I'm scared of getting like actually sick. So what I have is like a little emergency kit, more like I'm gonna use it every day kit. But inside of it, I have like emergency packets, like the vitamin C, and then I have, <laughs> I labeled it, I have like Tylenol and Advil, I have Zofran, which is an anti-nausea, and I have Pepsid, which is like an anti-acid, and these two are like vitamin C pills, just in case, because I don't wanna get sick. And then on this side, it's like a big, big side, I'm gonna put some Tums, because sometimes when I don't wanna take like an anti-acid pill, and I just want like to take a pill, I'll just, what the hell? Oh, I'm stupid. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, should I pack cold and flu medicine just in case, or do you think they would like have that on the boat? Like I'm not sick, but like what if I get sick? I'm not even gonna put that out there. I'm not even gonna put that out in the world. I'm being crazy, I'm being crazy, I'm being crazy. All right, I'm in the bathroom of my guest room because that's where I have to put this freaking camera in order to get me trying to get this suitcase out of underneath this bed. So here I go. It's heavy as shit and I've been waiting for my dad to come by so he could help me out with this, but I'm just gonna have to, ugh. 
Do it myself. It's heavy because it has another suitcase inside of it. Okay, sugar, move. I don't wanna hurt you. <laughs> All right, um, this is my like toiletry bag for like the shower because it's plastic and if it gets water on it, um, it'll be okay. It says Juicy Couture. All right, let's pack. First things first, deodorant because actually let me get this crap going. We don't want to be stinky smelly on this cruise. Second thing second, we've got shampoo and conditioner, brain fog. This is actually the shampoo and conditioner I use in real life. I just got the mini ones, except I use the coconut smell, and this is cucumber mint. It's native, non-spons, although they have sponsored me before, and I do love their shampoo and conditioner product. Uh, it's sulfate-free, which I like. And then I got a coconut and vanilla body wash by Native. Let's go ahead and put my toothbrush and toothpaste in here. Oh my god, this is so aesthetic, you guys. Look, it's like pink and white. So cute. And then we have face sunscreen, which we will for sure need, because we were going to a place very close to the equator. Smelling delicious. Body, um... What's this word? Sunscreen. Sunscreen for my bod. Oh my god, I can't make this aesthetic because it doesn't fit. All right, the aesthetic. We're going crazy. Here we go. I hate packing and unpacking for things. I really do hate it with a burning passion inside of me. Ugh, I feel like I'm a booger. My old assistant, Alyssa, who is now one of my best friends in the entire world, introduced me to these packing cubes. They come in like multiple sizes and they actually are lifesavers. And it's not that it helps with like space, it does, but it also helps with like organizing. And like, I'm not an organized person at all and these help so much. I'm gonna pack my undies and my socks. Also, side note, I pack underwear on a trip like I'm gonna poop and pee my pants every day, even though I'm not. And I'm probably gonna be wearing a bathing suit most of these days, but that's how I pack. And that's my truth. And I think most girls do it, so. <laughs> thousand years later guys it's 11 p.m. I've been cleaning my room and just like packing and I'm still not even done and I have to get my nails done tomorrow I literally leave tomorrow and I couldn't find my passport and I found it so I haven't been filming but I'm gonna film a little bit more tomorrow just like the process of getting ready to go and then I will yeah I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow morning I need to go to bed soon in like a couple hours but I just need to unwind but yeah I have this much Ooh, sugar's pissed I have a lot packed uh-oh Sorry, Shook. Yes! Tomorrow. Holy crap, it's the next day. I literally have a flight. I, of course, I get two f***ing zits the day of a flight. Of course, of course. I'm literally, my life is in shambles right now. I'm on my way, I should have done more yesterday. I am on my way to go get my nails done. The post office, Barnes and Noble, because I want to grab a book. God forbid I f***ing read. One of my, someone I know um, recommended me this book where it's like, it's about being focused and like, opening up your mind and um i'm gonna i bought it so i have to go pick it up at barnes and noble i have to go pick up something at the post office that they tried to deliver and i wasn't home yesterday and i have to go get my nails and toes done i have to leave in like three hours to the airport and i don't know if i have enough time but we're gonna we're gonna do our best one eternity later good morning um this is like a week and a half later i realized i don't have an outro for this video i am back from my seven day vacation, everything went well. Um, preparation for it was really, really stressful, but I hope you guys like this video because I have never done anything like it. Keep your eyes peeled for next week's video is when I go on the actual cruise. So that's very exciting. Comment down below who or what you guys wanna see next. It is time to skedaddle. Bye guys.